If you bring forth what is within you, what is within you will save you. But if you do not bring forth what is within you, what is within you will destroy you. The serpent is within. The serpent is the sexual fire. It is a very powerful atomic energy with a polarity that can be used to create or to destroy. Because this energy is so powerful, the individual requires great willpower in order to overcome the lure of the serpent. The temptation of the serpent is through material pleasure and self-edification. This tempting aspect of the serpent is Lucifer, or what in Hebrew is called Shaitan, the enemy. Because Shaitan is a fiery serpent that is ignited and empowered in the sexual act. It is always tempting mankind to know, to have the sexual connection. The serpent itself is power, the individual decides through their actions, whether it will be the power of good or evil. It is the difference of obeying the serpent or controlling it. The lesson contained in the story of the serpent is that only those with the strength of will to control the cravings of the mind can raise the energetic serpent to transform themselves from intellectual animals into true human beings. It is necessary to conquer the dragon that lies within. As religions and mystical traditions for endless ages has shown in stories, the dragon is one's own lust, passion, anger, pride, fear, and envy. Thus exists the Hydra of many heads and the Medusa. The deceptions of the serpent are many. The great heroes and gods always have serpent under their power. And it is the serpent that protects them and conquers their enemies. In contrast to the serpent that tempted Eve, causing her to fall, there is the serpent of Moses who commanded its power and conquered the Egyptians, accomplishing great miracles. The Egyptians have degenerated into black magic and Moses appeared to deliver the true teachings. The Hebrew mem signifies water, Shin is fire, and He is the womb. So the name Moshe or Moses means born of water and fire. The Aztec Christ Quetzalcoatl and the Tibetan Padmasambhava were also both born of the waters. Unless a man be born again of water and the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Moses was born again, which means he created the soul, symbolized by the illuminated tree of life, the burning bush that he saw in the wilderness. The enlightened tree unified him with the inner father. Thus, he received the commands of God directly. Moses needed to free the people of Israel from Egypt. Egypt represents the degenerated mind of men, and the Pharaoh is the tyrant. This Pharaoh, the tyrant, represents the jealousy that rules over this man made civilization of material power and desire. Israel is a compound word. Is is from Isis, the Egyptian divine mother. Ra is the Egyptian divine father. El is Hebrew for God. So when the nation of Israel is trapped in slavery, this is a symbol of one's own inner divinity trapped within the degenerated mind. Moses was told to take the rod, the spinal column, the tree of life in his own body, and it became a serpent. The serpent of the Kundalini. His serpent was more powerful than the negative serpent of the Egyptians. Thus, this story symbolizes the duality of the sexual force. Only the positive serpent, under the service of God, can free the soul from suffering. This is clearly represented in Egyptian art. The positive serpent obeys and protects, while the negative serpent must be dominated and conquered. Sex can be lustful or chaste. Sex can create or destroy. Sex can be animal or worshipful. Sex can raise a fiery chariot to God or pave a road to the abyss.
Sex is the natural function of the human being. But only sex as performed under the guidance of divine will. Sex performed under the guidance of the mind creates suffering, pain and spiritual death. This is self-evident in those who seek happiness in sex. As semen retention practitioners, we know that the sexual desire can never be satisfied. Instead, our surplus energy that we generate feeds the positive serpent, meaning that our energy is going upwards, which then strengthens our resolve and willpower. We become more aware of ourselves and how we made certain decisions in our life. Decisions play a very important aspect in life. Your decisions can either make you or break you. There are many temptations in our current world, and it is vitally important that our decisions come from the higher channels instead of the lower channels. This is how the positive serpent protects us from the evils of this world, as our decisions come from non-attachment, non-emotional and non-animal, but from the logical, perfect and unlimited creative mind of God. We are able to separate ourselves from our emotions, from our habitual thinking and doing. Our certain judgment about things, situation and people becomes non-biased. We become the captain, the driver, of this human vehicle. As a captain of a plane sits on the highest part of the plane, our consciousness, our awareness, will also reside on the highest part of our human vehicle. When we willingly expel or turn our energy downwards through ejaculation, we feed the negative serpent, which strengthens our lower channels. Hence, our decisions will create a destined life of suffering or the crooked path. Life, where there is chaos and no stability, due to decisions coming from emotions. As emotions are temporary and fleeting. Life, where there is no fulfillment due to decisions coming from our animalistic desires, which can never be satisfied. Life, where there is full of fear due to decisions coming from attachment. Our attachment creates fear of loss, fear of failure, fear of death. These are the fruits of feeding the negative serpent. Set yourself free from the negative serpent by taming it as if it was your companion. Then this companion will become your guardian, your helper, when it is turned into its opposite polarity. The positive serpent. This is the serpent. A semen retention origin series, part 2. Stay tuned for part 3, the tree of life. Thank you for watching.